Okay, so we have one more person coming up to recognize the man of the hour. Last but certainly not least, our next speaker is a musician, singer, songwriter, best known as the founding member and lead vocalist of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. He and his fellow members are Rock and Roll Hall of Famers and Walk of Famers as well. Please welcome to the stage, Anthony Keaton. I'm sorry, that's all the time we have for today. <laughs> Welcome to the corner of Hollywood and George. Like has been said, George Clinton is a national treasure where we all got rich. <laughs> it's true. So I was a little late to the party. Uh, my first exposure to Parliament Funkadelic was in Fairfax High School. I was a student in the mid 70s and I, and I walked into class and it was show and tell and the kid next to me, his name was Zane and he had the album Chocolate City under his arm and I was like, what's that? What's that? What do you got there? It's like, that's Chocolate City. And I could tell by the way he held that record that it meant the world to him and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll check this out. A, a little something went off. A year later I went to see you with the Mothership Connection at the Fabulous Forum. Wandering up around backstage, Gary Schneider with the diapers. And it's just, it's safe to say that seeds were planted. Like, just something happened to me that night where I was never going to be the same again. Fast forward to 1985, and I had started a little baby band of my own. And, and we were going nowhere slowly, which was fine, because we were having fun doing it. And the record company came to us, and they said, uh, Boys, if you could have anyone on earth produce your next record, who would that be? And Flea and I looked at each other and we said, George Clinton. Yeah! You know, which is, you know, good luck, right? Two months later, we moved into his house. In the rurals of Michigan, my entire band moved in with George and his family, and we set up our instruments in the living room, which was full of stuffed animals. He was a collector. And we, and we started writing, and George started teaching us. And, and for me personally, George became an instant friend, a teacher, a mentor, a father figure, a co-conspirator, an instigator, and, and honestly, a, a conductor of alien enterprises, truth be told. And that record was called Freaky Stolly, produced by George Clinton. And the rest was history. Um, one of the things that dawns on me is, is I see you get your star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is that my, my true hope is that someday my great, 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 great grandkids will see your name and they will go, hmm, I'm gonna have to sing Bob then. I'm gonna have to figure out this whole flashlight dance and I'm gonna go to bed dreaming about clones of Dr. Funkenstein. This is my hope that my great grandkids will walk across that and go, yeah, my dad knew that guy, let's check him out. So that's all I have to say. I love George Clinton with all my heart. Thank everybody for being here to support. And I'm gonna sing a small spiritual hymn. And uh, I'm gonna ask everybody to just join in. You may or may not know the lyrics, but. Make my funk the people. I want my funk gun cut. Make my funk the people. I want to get funked up. All the people that wants my bunk stepped on. Yeah, make my bunk the people. I want smoke in it home. I want the power of the people. Yeah. Little spiritual hymn, good night, y'all.